Hi everybody, Dana Sparks, broker of Maximum One Greater Atlanta Realtors. And this week's contract tip has to do with material relationships. Now, as a licensed agent in the state of Georgia, on any purchase and sale agreement, regardless of what form you are on, you must disclose a material relationship with the client or customer with whom you are working. So what is a material relationship? Well, Beretta describes a material relationship as follows. One actually known of a personal, familial, or business nature between the broker and or affiliated licensee and a client, which would impair their ability to exercise fair judgment relative to another client. Now, um, this language may have more to do with dual representation. Nevertheless, you still must disclose this material relationship. So what does all that mean? Well, obviously a familial relationship means someone with whom you are related either by blood or marriage. Um, that could go out as far as a cousin, a sibling, a spouse, a child, a stepchild, a half brother, half sibling, so forth and so on. So that one is pretty easy to understand. Now a business nature. Now if you are working with a client or customer and there is an, an existing or past business relationship between you and this person, that too falls under the material relationship uh, that you must disclose. This could be a business partner or someone that works with your spouse, so to speak. Could be a business partner of you relative to another business. And additionally, this is also a past client of yours. And we do not see often enough agents disclosing this material relationship when you are working with a past client. That is a business relationship and falls into this definition. So you need to disclose that this is a past client of yours. Um, and then the third category, a relationship of a personal nature, this one is a little more vague. Um, basically, this could be anything such as an old uh, friend, high school sweetheart, college sweetheart, college roommate, um, best friend from school, from the past, from church, from an activity, from anything like that. Um, that does technically fall into the category of a personal material relationship, and you really do need to disclose it. So make sure that you are disclosing these relationships in your contracts. Additionally, if you are working with a client or customer and you do have a material relationship with this person and the property that you are writing the offer on is a short sale, please note that there are many short sale lenders that will not, um, some REO lenders as well, but I mean uh, owners as well, REO owners and short sale lenders will not pay a commission if there is a material relationship between the buyer's agent and broker and the buyer. So you'll definitely want to check that out in advance. If that is the case, you need to let the buyer know that potentially they could be responsible for paying your commission or you might want to get them to work with another buyer's agent. So just check that out in advance. It's best to know up front before you're in the middle of a transaction and then find all that out um, or depending on the nature of the material relationship take that for what it's worth if you want to do some pro bono work. Um, totally up to you. Uh, again just uh, make sure that you know what the material relationship is and make sure that it is disclosed. Thank you so much for watching. Dana Sparks, broker of Maximum One Greater Atlanta Realtors, satisfying your needs with service, innovation, and education.